The Angus Foundation is the proud sponsor of I Am Angus. Thanks to you, hundreds of farm and ranch kids will get financial support this year and make their college dreams a reality. Donate today by visiting angusfoundation.org. I got my wife April and we've been married 30 years and we've got three daughters. One's a registered nurse in Seattle uh, and the other two girls are home here on the ranch. We just kind of grew up around cattle and riding horses and I don't know, you kind of get used to it, yeah. you know. I think when I was really little I really didn't know what was going on. I was kind of like, oh we just have all these calves and then we sell them in a sale. But once you get to like the age we are, you finally get to learn that what calves are out of what bowls and how they're rating and why you're using heifer bowls and everything. Well we went to AI school last year so we kind of started to get into that and so we're learning a lot more about how we're breeding them and why we're breeding them. It's really interesting but yeah when we were younger we just we'd help round up and yeah. that was about it. I like the the freedom where you know you, you know what needs to get done so you just go out and you do it. You go fence all day and you're kind of off on your own and uh, working with the cows and we ride horse pretty much every day it seems like. Um, so it's nice just to be able to go do your own thing, you know. Um, I like the moving cows because then I get to ride my horses all the time and just get them in shape and then they're good for rodeo too. We can get to 110 in the summer and we can get to 40 below in the winter. And uh, but yet we don't have a lot of population here and, and it's a lot of clear, wide open outdoors. You kind of got to depend on your neighbors to help. We still brand all together with our neighbors. We brand with them. Whenever they need help, we help them. Whenever we need help, they'll help us. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a, you go back and forth and it's, you always need your neighbors sometimes. So it, it's kind of loyal just yeah. to go back and forth. I grew up with people working for my dad and my uncle and, and we've always had hired help, but it's not like working with family. In, uh, when you say go over there to Albert's, well that's the place my grandpa bought in the 1930s, they know what you're talking about and where to go. My great-great-grandfather -grand, homesteaded here in 1906 and so my kids are the sixth generation and we've added on every generation more acres and improved it and uh, developed more water and fences and, and so we hope you know that it's a lot better than when I took over and I hope that the kids can take it to the next level. I think we still have a lot of learning <laughs> yeah. left to go and so it's going to take a while but I'm sure we can get there if dad keeps on helping us. It's a lot of learning just because we're registered so it's a lot of paperwork and a lot of time on the computer putting in stuff and like we got to tattoo their ears and we got to know every number and it's not just you know our cows or wherever we have to know every certain one. It's hard living in a town when you yeah. have something open like this and can work with your horses and cows all day. Town's only 16 miles away, so. We can go whenever. Yeah. We're both on a volleyball league and we play every Wednesday. and yeah. So it's nice to go to town, but it's nice to not be in town all the time. Yeah, our team's kicking her team's butt. <laughs>